If you have an iPhone, Apple iPhone, iPad that says iPhone disabled connect to iTunes due to several attempts of you entering the wrong password, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to easily resolve that problem but I'll tell you right now what you need. You need your phone, you need your Apple cable and of course you need a computer to fix this problem. So let's get right ahead to the tutorial video and follow the steps exactly and get it right. Thank you for watching. All right. Let's get started with this um, little fix for the iPhone. Again, let's go over it. The first thing you need is your iTunes installed. Download it if you don't already have it. An active internet connection, a fast one is preferred. Your iPhone USB cable, and also you must download your iOS firmware specific to your device model. You can get that from the ipsw.me that's the link where i got mine from and i downloaded it to my desktop the next thing you need to do is put your phone in dfu mode depending on the version of iphone you might need to hold the power and the um, left volume down key or in this case i'm using an iphone se for this tutorial so i'm holding down the power and the home button so depending on your iphone if you have an iphone x you just hold the power and and the volume down key so you hold the buttons and um, integration for 10 seconds of course plug your phone into your charger first into your itunes and hold the volume down and the power for 10 seconds or if you're using an iphone se the home button and the power for 10 seconds and release the power button while still holding the home button this is what you need to do to get your phone into dfu mode that's probably the most difficult part of this tutorial. Some people will have difficulty getting their phone into DFE mode. But if you're successful, this is what you show you on your screen. Right there. iPhone has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. So let's get ahead and do that. Hold shift key before you click this restore iPhone. This will give you the option of selecting the file which you downloaded on my desktop that's it if you do not hold shift key it will try to download the file again so hold shift before clicking the restore button so i'm holding shift and i click restore it pops up this box to select the file so i'll do that that's my file i downloaded from the ipsw website and it's the latest official iphone don't download the older versions you must download the latest sign that apple is still signing so Remember, these steps will erase every information on your iPhone. If you do not back up your pictures and everything in the cloud, you will lose everything. And remember, the phone is already locked, and so you can't access anything to, to back up anything right now. So make sure you, you are aware that these steps will wipe your entire phone if you did not back up before doing it. So I'll go ahead and rest up. The process will take a while, so I might have to pause this video and resume but when it's complete your iphone will repeat several times don't disconnect just hold on until it's complete if it fails just try it again so let's hold on for this extraction and the installation process to start and continue remember you need an active internet connection throughout this entire process so the iphone firmware can be verified with the apple server before it can is installed so let's hold on while that happens I paused the video and came back and as you can see the iPhone has been successfully unlocked. We followed all the steps that I listed from 1 to 6 and your cable is not faulty, your internet connection is okay. You should reach these steps, your iPhone will be unlocked successfully. Next you need to input your Apple ID as previously uh, installed on the phone. It's a new iPhone I can set it up as a new one. You can simply unlock your phone and do the setup from your iPhone. You don't need to use the iTunes anymore for the setup. That's it guys. Thank you for watching the video. If it helps you, make sure you give the video a like and also subscribe to the NG Pro's YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.